Hey lightweights and welcome back to some more Cyberpunk 2077. Last video was a doozy. Um, we did the main mission where we unfortunately lost Jackie, um, but we did get the chip that has Johnny Silverhand on it. After that mission kind of exploded and went horribly wrong, Dex tried to shoot us in the head. And by tried, I mean successfully shot us in the head and tried to kill us, uh, but somehow our body kind of like rebooted itself with the help of the chip of Johnny Silverhand. Um, so we didn't die. Takimura actually found us and brought us to um, Victor, our, fi our Ripper Doc. Um, and we are, we are healed-ish, but we were told that we're not gonna make it. Uh, Johnny Silverhand's personality will start to take over us. Um, he already tried to kill us in our apartment, so it's not going well so far. And then I ended off at the very end of the video just doing a little side mission with a police officer who was refusing to leave his apartment. Um, I talked to him and he asked me to go pick up the ashes of someone that was his best friend. I said I was gonna finish that in the beginning of this video, um, but I ended up doing it off camera. And I'm glad I did because it was cute, but it wasn't anything that you guys probably would have been interested in watching. Uh, but essentially, we got to the place where the ashes were kept, and it was the ashes of a tortoise. His best friend was a turtle. So we went back to the apartment, um, told the police officers that were outside how they were being like super shitty and they needed to be better friends, and how this guy was so desperate for a friend, he befriended a turtle. Um, and they went in and were talking with him, and then that was the end of the mission. So nothing really happened other than the fact that we found out his best friend was not a human being, which is kind of sad. Um, anyways, we're gonna pick up this video by meeting with Takemura again. He called us and said that he wanted to talk to us. So I'm right outside the restaurant that he is in and we are going to pick up right there. Uh, but before we get into the video, please make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next video. All right, you guys, here we go. Uh, I did more side stuff off camera too, obviously. Um, one of the missions I did actually was for Johnny Silverhand and I considered stopping and recording it, but um, it wasn't anything... <laughs> Anyways, it wasn't anything too exciting. My cold is like basically gone, but it has like annoying that little... That little bit that's just hanging on is driving me crazy. Anyways, it wasn't anything exciting. We were just talking to a guy who's like a huge fan of the Samurai band. So I think it was okay that I did it off camera. This is cute. Sit. Okay, bossy. Ooh. You do not pizza. so bad. Then in the car, I doubted you would survive. Why'd you help me, anyway? I needed you to leave. That hasn't changed. But why? Is this about the biochip? That why I'm here? Hmm. I hear it's damaged beyond the repair. Any attempt to extract it would be disastrous. Fatal for you. Vic likes to talk, I guess. Not many could do what he did. You should be thankful. I'm sorry, I'm very distracted by the person behind Takamura. Look how he's eating his burger. What is he doing? What is even happening right now? What's it you actually want from me? To begin, you must tell me where to find Evelyn Parker. Evelyn, what's she to you? She and Yorino Barasaka had intimate relations. She knows how to get to him been thinking I ought to have a word with her myself. She promised to help me get rid of the chip. I would not count on that. She's likely gone very far away. Just answered your own question about where Evelyn is. Long gone. Why do you believe she could help you remove the chip? Does that corporation help her? Um, don't think so, no. Can you expand? 
No matter how much perfume a corpo sprays on mornings, by lunch that's replaced by the stench of skullduggery. The only thing I caught from Evelyn was determination. And I do stink of skullduggery. <laughs> you know, you're starting to stink, period. Mm. Sorry, I couldn't be of any help. Don't have any time to lose. Be, so. wait. I need you. Yori but why? Must answer for this crime of patricide. <laughs> Looking for justice? In Night City? I seek revenge. Much more feasible here. I have allies prepared to bring Yorinov to his knees. The only thing I need is proof. And you think they'll trust the word of a merc? I have nothing better now. Also, I know no one here. And I am a fugitive. I am hunted. Why? So what, we stroll into Arasaka HQ and announce that Yorinobu's a kin killer? That he murdered Saburo? We'll get the hearing before reasonable people in a neutral location. Certain procedures will be used to establish the truth. A lie detector? Forget it. In that case, another option. You are dying. You do not know how to save yourself. A chip, the relic, is a culprit. Technology made by Arasaka. Technology they alone know. This corporation can save you as easily as it can make you disappear. It is merely about getting the right people on your side. Politics. You mean people like Anders Hellman? You know this name? How? Prepped for the heist thoroughly. Relic is Hellman's design, his creation. And true, he's a pawn. I was thinking of one much more powerful. Besides, Anders Hellman escaped to Arasaka, betrayed it. I love that you can like still be so mobile when you're in a like a what would typically be a cutscene. Now, Hanako-sama, I would first like to ask you... Fucking Saka scums everywhere. Hey, I was listening to that. Shut up. Nobody except you wants to watch that shit about that corpo cunt. What did you say? You heard me. Let it go, Takamura. At least one of you's got some fucking sense. <laughs> Last thing we want to do is draw attention. I'm sorry. A stupid reflex. Thanks for the offer. Need to think about it. Get back to you. I need time. To plan, organize. You stand to gain much if you help me. All I ask is that you do not leave the city. Leave? Why would I leave? Need help. Best chance I'll find the right person here. Someone other than Arasaka specialist? There's no one. No alternative. Actually, we just talked about some. Anders Hellman. He invented the relic. If I want to get rid of it, he's my man. And if that means picking another fight with Arasaka, so be it. Hellman defected from the company. I myself spent many days looking for him. He... What's the expression? Dropped off the face of the earth. <laughs> defected? Where to? Some other corp poach him? As far as I can tell, he acted alone. A meticulous man. He planned it. Covered his tracks very well. Any idea where he took off to? None. Why are you looking for Hellman? 
He was the one to alert Saburo san to Yorinobu's schemes. He knew both of them well and could be an important witness. Corporal rats squeal when hanging by their tails. For several days, I collected the information. All leads point to one place. The club called the Afterlife. I was quickly dismissed by the Queen of Fixers there. Rogue. She take you for a suit? No. She saw me as Saburo Sama's killer. Rogue's well informed. Gets wind of most things that happen in the city. Might be worth asking her about Helmet. I wish you luck. The old man is choosy, expensive, and rude. <laughs> For the bit of luck, I'll track down Evelyn. If she could not help you before, she would not manage to now. Honor among thieves. Ever heard of it? Yes, I thought it ironic. Thieves have none. There's just honor, I believe. You're an Obu Arasaka degree? I'm sure. The Parker woman will not help you. <laughs> Why are you? I would think about a plan B. I cannot stay here any longer. Oh. Do that guy was magic. Look for Parker. Oh. Hellman, whoever. And he's I on rollerblades. Some friends. Call in some favors. <laughs> when my people in Arasaka are ready to listen, I will call you. Till then, I guess. If by some miracle you find Hellman, please notify me. He and I have unfinished business. Hey, Johnny! Zapper dumples and filth. In some ways, Night City never changes. Arasaka is still a despotic machine, and the world's on a collision course with chaos. But hey, at least Rogue's still alive. You know, you've got some nerve. First you're out to kill me, now you want to be my pal and make like nothing happened? You know you don't gotta speak out loud to talk to me. <laughs> what did you want? And I've processed some shit, changed my mind. Don't want you dead anymore. Go fuck yourself, dick wipe. Hey, wasn't easy That's a new for one. me either. You woke up in a landfill, I woke up in your head. Wrestling with your thoughts, memories. Think we're even. And I've taken a step back. Looked at things. Think we might be able to help each other. We could start with Rogue. Her and I go back to the Stone Age. Why should I trust you? Remind me again? Trust me, don't trust me. I don't give a fuck. It's the least of our worries, anyway. You are the ghost of Christmas past, asshole. Any friends you've had are either dead or so old their memory's gone. Johnny Silverhand died a legend. Nobody forgets that. Oh, he's touchy about that. Rogue. What would I say to her? I got a talking brain tumor claims it's her old friend Johnny? Trust me, Rogue's heard dumber shit than that. Way back when you weren't even an itch in your daddy's ball sack. Don't need convincing. <laughs> seen your memories. Gross. Rogel danced any tune I play or just get us to the afterlife. There is no us. All right, Judy. Judy! You're not alone in thinking me dead. Thought it was game over for me, too. Things went ass Game up. over, man! Game Not over! Planned. Heard about the heist, I take it. Must have talked to Evelyn. Didn't need to. Old damn city's hurt. Listen, need to find Evelyn. I really don't want to talk about her. Know where she is? What I just say? Drop it. I won't tell you again. Um. Judy, you're my one hope. The only lead I got. I gotta find her. 
And I know you can help me do that. Who told What's you? What's going I on here? Can we meet? Let's meet, please. You at Lizzie's? Hey, look. What is this? Would you look at that? You see it too, right? I don't know what I see. I'm having a mystical moment. What's that chick's name? The one with the hair? Misty? Nah. More likely a neuron misfire for Victor to check out. Or maybe ask them both. Okay. Oh. That's cool. All right, I'll do that next time I'm over there. Um, oh, they're tarot? What? All right, let's start with, let's start with Judy. Oh wait, I didn't track it. Shit. <laughs> Hold on. Track. There you go. I also bought a couple cars. None of them are awesome, but you know. I think there's an achievement to own all of them, so. I was buying them while I could afford them. That chick almost got ran over. Can you drive, please, bitch? Are you kidding me right now? Well, guess what? Fuck you! Oh, oh! Sorry, dude. Damn it, I almost made that. <laughs> My driving skills are impeccable. I found I drive better on a motorcycle in this game. I've stolen a couple. Oh shit, I went the wrong way. Damn it all! The cars are just like, too floaty. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like you, you do a movement and the back end just like floats around. like 6 30 in the morning hey have a nice can you here talk before? it is important what's important i may have Got found a, a solution to faces. the problem we share here for a good time i have established a contact with an old friend from arasaka he's here in night city now he's well connected to certain Influential people. That's gonna help us how exactly? There will be a meeting. You, me, and this friend of mine. You will tell him what you told me. The truth of events at Kopiki Brother. I have little hope that he will be convinced. But it will be a start. Of all people, you ought to know Night City tests everyone's reliability, even that of old friends. Sure about this guy? Trust him? Many times we have had the opportunity to kill one another. Yes, I trust him. Fine. Where's the meet and when? 
Japan Town, after sunset, I am sending you the precise location. I'll see you there. All right. Need to talk to Punch and Judy. She and her den. Yep. Take the stairs down. I'll let Judy know you're coming. Scare away any customers, and you're out. He quenches his thirst at the watering hole while waiting for your arrival. He takes shelter in the shade of the cherry blossoms. The fox is cautious. It shall emerge when it is sure that the water is not poisoned. Amateur Merc, yes, this is Takamura. I'm using a burner via secure connection, but I figured it'd be best to use the secret code I created. I suspected it might be beyond your abilities. Meet me at the docks on Channel Street, Japantown. Come at night. If nobody has followed you, I will show myself. I trust this was understood. Not too complicated. Okay. My, what a sweet little face you have. Feast your eyes on this. Huh? Tell me, baby, do I look as fine as I feel right now? <laughs> She's feeling confident. Judy's embarrassing herself again. Hey, where are you going? Nothing to see back Let here. Let it lie. Judy's friend. Mm-hmm. I'm so excited to see Judy. Stop telling every joy toy you meet to come here. The hell I'm supposed to do with them all? You're so concerned about strays? Go take care of your guest. Suze, we're not done here. Oh yeah, we fucking are. Now that is look. Hi. You don't give up, do you? Got nothing more to say to each other. Thought I made that clear. Or was I just... Susie seems to know what she wants. Is she your boss? You come all this way just to play who's who at the mocks? Listen, have you seen Evelyn? Need to talk to her. It's important. Why? So you can make her your scapegoat for your train wreck of a heist. Sounds to me like you two talked. <laughs> Need to find out who she was working for. That's it? That's it. Judy, you don't need to worry. I won't lay a hand on her. Wouldn't make sense. Fine. I don't know what that tattoo is of. All right. Evelyn's a doll. Used to work at Clouds. Sig case on my table's got the address. Take it, and once you find Evelyn, give it to her. Mega tower. <laughs> Luxurious. How about uh you and me go get a drink? You still need something? Yeah. Yeah, I do. Wait. Um just let me know how she's doing. Okay. Give you a call. Okay. Thanks. Thank you, V. You're welcome. See, was that so hard? A doll. Why am I not surprised? You're an engram and a fading mind. Nothing should surprise you anymore. So we're gonna hit this place, Clouds? Why the hell not? Do you have anything else to say, or are you just gonna smoke? Okay. <laughs> Think I just woke up one day looking like this? This is real life, not no fairy tale. I'm a woman. That demands sacrifice. It's hard work, never easy. You don't say. See? 
I've always been a woman. Oh, so this is what fucking sororal solidarity looks like now. Locker room digs. Welcome to real life, sister. Your words, not mine. Those elbow pads are deadly. Am I gonna get in trouble for being in here? What are you staring at? Got something to say? No. Nope. Okay. Bye. Forget Evelyn. Admit it. This is about Judy's virtues, isn't it? Good shit, if I say so myself. Nobody can hold a candle to Judy. Cuts virtues like they were diamonds. Damn straight. Why can't I have a cool outfit like that? My outfit's so bad. Look at it. Look at this! What? <laughs> I'm a beaut, you guys, a beaut. Oh, that's better. <laughs> so bad. Oh, thank God. Thank God. Although. <laughs> Maybe not. Got to. Get rid of some of my guns. Um, I hate this. The way they move is so dumb. Makes no sense. Name's V. And what? No pleased to meet you? I'm truly honored to meet you. You got any biz? Call me. Oh, I also got... I wonder if it's in my journal. <clears throat> I got a side mission for the Delamain Cap Company that I didn't do. Um, he, like, ran me over. <laughs> when I was in the parking garage. Yeah, and he said that he wants compensation for the damages. So, I don't know. Oh. Maybe I should do this one. Let's call Mama Wells. Oh, look at her tattoos. Since when Jackie passed away. How are you doing? I don't know you. Fuck How off. you think? My son is dead. But I am hanging in there. Call in to offer my condolences. Hmm? Offer your condolences? Ay, Jesus Christovi. You lived under our roof. Have the decency not to treat me like some stranger you just met. I was going to call you. I prepared an ofrenda for Jaquito. We can't let him go without a proper goodbye. The ceremony will be at the Coyote Cojo. Many of his friends will be there. Say no more, Mama Wells. I'll be there. I did not doubt it for a second. Ahí te veo, Vi. All right, let's do that one first. Oh, shit. Okay, um, <clears throat> I guess this would be the closest. We'll 
drive from there. And then I'll get back into main stuff, but that's... Jackie's funeral seems important. Well, memorial service, I don't know, whatever you want to call it. Since we're gonna work together, only right to say hello. They call me El Capitan, and they call you me. See no introductions necessary. Already took care of them. Someone comes to me with biz, I take care of it. I eat, sleep, and breathe biz. Remember that. Aye, aye, Captain. While we're at it, <laughs> need fresh wheels, bikes, I got it all. Real good prices. So hit me up anytime, you hear? I could use a bike. Why are you way over there? Making me run. Whoa, whoa! I think I'm going the wrong way down a one-way street. It's cool how distinct, dude. It's cool how distinct every area is in Night City. Oh my God, this with these phone calls. Hayward. I'm Sebastian Ibarra. They call me Padre. V, nice to meet you. I like people who understand the value of respect. Will be in touch, me. Oh, do you see those driving skills? Oh shit. Oh shit. And I ruined it. <laughs> Get out of my way! Does she own this place? Salud. Why does that beer look massive? A lot of time has passed. How you been? Been better, to tell you the truth. What is happening? That night when... We're drunk after one sip? Well, let's just say... Things haven't exactly been easy since. Yo sé cómo te sientes. Todos lo sabemos. I am in the middle of preparing an ofrenda. There is still so much to take care of. Could help you with that? Gracias, mi cielo. But I will manage. It's enough you come to say goodbye. I want to take part in the ceremony, but... I want to do it the right way. In line with tradition. Mm -hmm. But... Something I'd, I'd lay by his casket that would do justice to his memory. I, I don't got anything. But your heart is in the right place, mi niña. Don't worry. He's symbolic. Look for something in his garage. His past is all there. Jackie had a garage? He used it for his motorcycle, mostly. But not so long ago, he moved in. You'll find something there, I'm sure. Oh, by me digging through his stuff? No, mija. He's gone, and funerals are for the living, not the dead. Toma, take the key. Thanks, Mama Wells. Ah, don't mention it, V. That's quite the key. You have respect. I admire that. The garage is on Republic. I de veo. 
So I thought I was a lightweight, which is why my channel name is Lightweight Gaming, but V... V is a lightweight. <laughs> Well, that's a nice car. Ivy. Aww. You here alone? This is not exactly the safest neighborhood in town, Misty. I used to sit on the stairs when I was 10. 26 now. If anything was gonna happen, it wouldn't have taken I really like her shoes. What are you doing here? Sitting and waiting. And yeah, waiting for him. Though I know he's never coming back. Lately, I've just been coming here to sit. An hour. Sometimes two. I know it's gonk, it's just... I miss him. A lot. Wanna sit? Catch up? Hardly gonk at all. Just, well, human. I guess. Jack talked about you a lot. Always saying how much you meant to him. Did he really say that? I bet he used different words. <laughs> Maybe, but that's what he meant. I really believe that. You actually got to know him. The real Jackie. Everybody else thought he was a goofball with a rough-hewn face and an edge. But they're wrong. What did you see in him? Let me tell you what he told me once. Told me he'd take a bullet for me. In an instant. Even if it'd kill him. Spoken like a true Haywood boy. A man. With dreams. Ambitions. Only thing they cost him was his life. <laughs> There's a huge chunk of his past in there. Mama Wells is having a send-off for Jackie. I need to find something he really cared about. Mind giving me a hand? I'm not sure I should go in there, V. Still too soon. No, it's not that. Mama Wells and I aren't exactly on the best terms. She wouldn't want me touching any of his things. Disturbing the memory. That I know. Jackie'd want you here. That's more important. Come on. These freaking pants. I can't get over them. Fine piece of metal and mechanics. He was so psyched. Love Do we get to keep the bike? Engines. He was 15 when he first got on a bike. Knowing him, it is a miracle he never wiped out. Guess no man cave's complete without some of those, huh? <laughs> he said they're collectibles. They don't print them anymore. It's definitely why they're up there, yeah. Mm-hmm. For whom the bell tolls, Ernest Hemingway. Jack read it a dozen times, always right before a big job. He said the guy who wrote it was tougher than Morgan Blackhand. You read it? Is it any good? I... I never got the chance. It'd be a good tribute for the ofrenda, though. All right, I'll probably take that, but I want to keep scanning. Still full. His favorite. Strategic reserve. No touching. How come? ¿Por qué no puedes tocar una reserva estratégica, va? <laughs> Basketball signed by Dante Gonzalez. He was from Haywood, too. Everyone here shot hoops. Dante ran circles around him. I think he might have been the first kid to ditch the Valentinos. Like Jackie? Mm-hmm. They both wanted more out of life. 
Dante's captain of the NC Blackouts now. She knows so much about Jackie him. It's so sweet. Line, didn't he? he called it his form of meditation. He used to say barbells are the best listeners. <laughs> they understand all your problems and never give you gonk advice. I wonder why Mama Wells doesn't like Misty. <laughs> Gotta be hanging here since 2020. Locked. Wonder what's in there. That's his lair. Slept there. He must have had a different key. Let's look around. My Good thing I already found it. Found it. Oh, Jackie. Is that a, a mandala? Mm-hmm. Oh, it's a long story. Hey. You all right? I'm so much better than all right. I once told Jackie he should sweep all the dark energy out of this place. A sand mandala would do the trick, for example. He told me that out of sand he'd build a castle, a home, the Wells family hideout, stronghold, something. I guess you made a bigger impression than you thought. I guess I did. Mm. It's beautiful. It's hideous. But it's also the most beautiful thing I've ever seen. I don't know. I think it's really well done. An aquarium? They used to be tacos. And taco was? Miss Fish. A dwarf shark. Like, mini. <coughs> Sounds like a mighty expensive fish. <laughs> oh. I don't think he bought it. <laughs> Jackie's favorite tequila. It's still sealed. It's his lucky charm. One of the first bottles ever made by Jesus de Abajo. The founder of Sensan Tequila. Only a hundred of them left in the world. All owned by the one percent. How did Jackie get this one? Some shriveled abuela in Mexico sold it to him. Told him De Abajo had stolen her recipe. Is it rude to jack into his computer? <laughs> Leather belt? Sort of a memento. His dad's. He used to beat both Jackie and his mom with it. Until one day, Jackie fought back, kicked his butt. Is that little Jackie? Him next time. Old man was hospitalized, and then he left. Why did he hold on to it? In case his dad ever comes back. Gotta be Jackie's dad. Old school ganger. Valentino's, of course. Did you meet him? No, I only ever heard about him. But he didn't exactly inspire many fond memories. Jackie wouldn't mind. He'd be like, I'm dead. Take the money. Um, okay. Fifty-five, fifty-five, one C. And then I could go either E9 or 55. So then I'll do E9, 55. Sure, that should work. 55, 55, 1C, E9, 55. Damn it, didn't get them all, but that's okay. Nice still. Don't mind if I do. Alright, we definitely gotta go with the book. Jack, pure and simple. Well, you got something for your ofrenda. But we could look around a little more. 
I think I'm good. I think I got everything. Where are we going? Actually, V, I think I'll stay a while. Say bye to him here. Mama Wells wouldn't want me there anyway. What happened between you two? What's the beef? Let's just say she didn't see me as daughter-in-law material. What did she have against you? That my name wasn't Camila and I wasn't Jackie's ex-output. Mm. Camila was Mama Wells' favorite. Right. Do I make her come? You gotta come, Misty. Got a right to be there. I'd rather not get in Mama Wells' way. It's for family. You were family to him. I guess you're right. Thanks, V. Shit, I hope this doesn't blow up in my face. There we go. Yeah. You ever thought you might leave Night City? Sure. Once upon a time, I even tried. Seriously? Meaning... Packed my bags and hopped on a plane? To Nepal. Thought I'd stay there. After a week, I realized I couldn't live without the traffic outside my window <laughs> and my neighbors hollering. That is funny how that works. You get so used to all the sounds and busyness. Oh shit, this is gonna be bad! He was a fat boy. Then go raise a glass to him, Padre. A few glasses. De acuerdo. V, hey, it's good you're here. We're about to start. Sit down, please. Do I put my offering down? God, I'm looking like a schmuck at his funeral. Oh. I thank you all for coming today. Oh, it's Victor. I'm not going to tell you what kind of man my son was. Her outfit's or cute. Or lament about how much I miss him. Instead, I'll tell you a story. When he was about 19 years old, Jackie was in the Valentinos. They were at war with Maelstrom back then. I get a call from the hospital. They tell me he got shot three times, just by the heart. He was conscious when I get there. So many tubes coming out of him. He looked like a, like a pulpo, like an octopus or something. He tell me, he said, no te preocupes, mama. Look, I'm bulletproof. Nothing bad will ever happen to me. And when I go, he take off his Valentino's ring. He swear he won't need it anymore. But he was not scared. He just didn't want me to worry. <laughs> Descansa en paz, mi hijo. Oh, poor Missy standing all alone in the corner. Among the membership of the Night City Devils Boxing Club, we had this saying. Make your best friends among the fighters who knock you out cold. And it's true. <laughs> Jackie's arm was a cannon. No one's ever hit me as hard. <laughs> I can still almost feel it. Oh, Victor. Twelve rounds, buddy. Me mandó Camporta. Lamenta no estar aquí. Todavía le quedan cuatro años que cumplir. Me pidió que leyera esto. Recuerdo cuando Jackie se nos unió. Era un niño fuerte. Cuando decía que iba a hacer algo, cumplía. Tenía olor, 
ol, ol, honor. Podría haber llegado lejos. Mis condolencias a la familia. Que descanse en paz. Anyone else? I, uh... I often think back to the first time me and Jack met. It feels like it happened a century ago. At another time, in another place. Jackie saved my life. And then, years later in Night City, he saved it again. At a time when I thought I'd lost absolutely everything. I found my own freedom then. But it would not have happened without him. Jackie Wells. Always hungry for more, and never gave up. Not once. Once he set his mind on something. He was ready to die to achieve it. He... He once told me, Chica, the one thing we can't do is be afraid of others. For his loved ones, he'd sacrifice his life. Without hesitation. But most importantly... Everyone saw Jackie as... A grinning charmer. Who saw the good in everyone... Everything. They were wrong. Jackie Wells was... A hell of an ambitious tomb... Who never gave up. And whose drive cost him his life. But he did in life what he said he'd do. Reached for fortune and fame. No fear in his eyes or heart. When you go to war as a boy, you have a great illusion of immortality. Other people get killed, not you. Then, when you are badly wounded the first time, you lose that illusion. Rest easy, Tomb. I would like to say a toast. Or mi hijo. Thank you for your kind words, V. I'm glad you're here. It was a beautiful offering that we gave him. A lot of people come today. Even that putica Jackie was messing around with. <sighs> Her name. Is Misty. What? Misty. She was very important to him. Do you understand? Go. Invite her along for dinner. It's the least she deserves. Do you know what? You're a good woman. I know. Jackie would want you to have these. What is it? Thank you. I'll take such good care of it. Is it his bike? Yes! All right. Um, so lots of people we can talk to. Your earring is a little ridiculous, I'm not gonna lie. All right. Who's who? Who are you? Valentinos para siempre, pendeja. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> hey. You all right? Yeah. I think I'm just still in that garage, mentally. I just need a sec. Okay. Campos all torn up. Gonna miss him. Says he feels like he lost one of his own. I already do. I wonder if he'll be as torn up after you die. <laughs> Me too, chica. You started something, eh? Uh, Not today. Me too. Here's to Jackie. Got off to greener pastures. Jackie Wells. We're gonna be drunk. A proud son of Haywood. Uh oh. I should mingle, Vic. Sure. See you later, V. Pour you another? 
por Jaquito. <laughs> oh God, we're not gonna make it out of this alive. Amen, sister. You can't decline a toast for a dead person. All right, talk to the Valentinos. Talk to Padre, where are they? Upstairs. How do I get upstairs? Here to say goodbye to one of your own, Padre. I'm here to say goodbye to a good man. Um, I don't know. I should say things. I just don't want to be here forever. I've already been recording an hour and I've done nothing. Um. All right. Valentinos are downstairs. Hey, at least we sober up pretty quick. Drink with us. Hmm? To Wells? How'd you meet Jackie? We started out together. In the Valentinos? No, in the fucking Bible book club. All right, asshole. I got only good memories of him. Rest easy up there, brother. All right, why not? To Wells. May he rest in peace. Good for now. Thanks. See? You gotta know when to stop. Right, give me a break. Ah. Right, let's go. Oh. Shouldn't drive drunk. Now that's a look. Hey. What's up? She's very happy. Look at her. She's just smiling. All right. What are we doing now? So we can look for Evelyn. I do love Evelyn. I wouldn't mind seeing her again. Go to Rogue. All right, we're definitely meeting with Evelyn. Whoa, 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 see? Floaty. when the roads are straight and I don't have to turn. <laughs> oh fuck. Oh fuck. Murdering people now. It's fine. What is it this time? The pipe that burst in our building. Those city bastards still haven't sent anyone to fix it. Watch your language. Can't you see who you're talking to? Please. What do you need? Well, every the pipe fixed. And I thought twice. Okay. Way 
I see oh. anything waiting for Hi, you Johnny. here is getting off or getting off. Place your bets. Alright. I think it's cool how you can choose what floor you actually want to go to. Brain dance chick is hiding something. No coincidence we already saw two tiger claws. They must control the building. Arisaka and the tiger claws are in bed together. Go figure. Every corp plays dirty. Except the streets are more than that. They're filth. So the corps leave it to the gang. Suits collars and gets soiled. Surprised? No, I mean, if Evelyn wanted to disappear... What? 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 Johnny! Uh... So hold on. You take the blow-up doll, remodel the hole, and, and that's cheap. That's infidelity. Uh, no. No. How's that any different from some dollhouse ass? Because the ass is meat, not latex. That's so hard to understand. Okay. Do you guys remember that show, Dollhouse? That was a good show. Oh, toys. It's awfully quiet. Welcome to Clouds, where we know what you're looking for. Would you care to jack into the terminal? Jack in, please. You realize personal links aren't secure, right? Could get hit with malware straight to my core. Into paying an arm and a leg for a ripper dock. We need data from your core to pair you up with the doll. Meaning a biometric scan? Just that. If anything goes wrong, you can lodge a complaint. But that's never happened. Her tattoos are really cool, too. All right, let's do this. This will be a live session, so events may take an unexpected turn. But don't quit if you feel uncomfortable. You could miss out on something truly <gasps> remarkable. If you feel unready to handle what comes next, you can interrupt the session immediately. Now for your safe word. Samurai. And saved. Now bear with me a moment. Scanning your personal profile. Oh, you can oh. The dolls in just a second. <laughs> Where's Evelyn? matches interesting is that normal or who can say what is normal you're clearly a unique person with unique tastes our system can handle it so who will it be angel or sky looking for an evelyn parker she work here hmm give me a moment Evelyn's not available at this time. Need to see her. It's important. The algorithm knows best. Trust me, it will choose <sighs> the doll that will thrill you. I want the Evelyn! can change their hair and eye color in real time to look just as you wish. I just want to talk to her, that's all. Please, no need for concern. Your doll will talk to you about anything you wish. <sighs> oh, I'm sorry. She finally say anything useful? Fuck the menu. Let's ditch this waitress and take our special order to the chef, point blank. So who will it be? Angel or Sky? Meaning? Meaning you go in as a customer, keep a low Rather profile. Rather go with Sky. They want to keep their cards close. I couldn't close. have Fine. chosen better we'll myself. Our own game. Now for the payment, and you'll venture into the clouds. There you go. It looked like she was looking right at Johnny. And the payments come through. The entire floor is open to you if you wish to wind down first. Why did her voice change? Sky awaits you in booth nine. 
disconnect, please. That it? <clears throat> what did that happen? We strict no weapons policy here at Clouds. Please deposit any and all hazardous items with me. Only two willing to spread their legs for you. Thank you. Sad. We hope you enjoy Go your eat stay. Death, Johnny. <laughs> Being a total creep, it's fine. Looks like there's someone dead in there. Hey, what's up? Don't mind me. Guess that makes you a real deviant. What the fuck? Hi, I'm Sky. And you must be Valerie. V. Just V. Only people who know me real well can use my real name. Okay then. V. Well, looks like this will be interesting. We're about to so, do some hanky panky. You're dying. Uh. How'd you know I'm dying? Deep inside, you fear this. Cower before it. So what if I do? Why do you care? Of all the voices in your head, the loudest is that calling for help. Look around. All of this is your doing. Looking for someone named Evelyn Parker. Used to work here. Know her? Know where she is? You need answers. That's clear. Just not the ones you think you need. Asked you a simple question. Evelyn Parker. Not the most important thing you're looking for, is she? I can smell your fear. You're afraid of something else. I think you know me well. Okay. Tell me what I'm so afraid of. I like your necklace. It's something you don't talk about. Everybody's entitled to secrets. Got my own with good reason, too. Say it. Say it out loud. Not for me, but for yourself. Had a true friend once. Now he's gone. Soon I'll be gone, too. Won't have anyone by my side. Everything you need, you already carry inside you. You're scared because you've given up on your dreams. What happened to becoming the best in all of Night City? Still want to be the best. Never gave up on that goal. Chances of getting there are starting to look pretty slim, though. I just want the world to know I was here. That I mattered. Instead of a dream, you're living a nightmare. You're afraid of being erased, as if you never existed. It's pretty or deep, is guys. It just the fear of becoming someone else, different. The people I've lost live on in my thoughts, and that's what I'll be—a memory. Or just an annoying little voice in someone else's head. You don't see death as destruction. The end. But as a change. That thought alone could save your life. I'm afraid of becoming someone else. Forgetting who I am. You're already becoming someone else. Every second of every day. Still, I feel a connection between who I was and who I'm turning into. What you really fear is becoming someone you don't recognize in the Her eyes are cool, too. So what now?
You gonna tell me? You've never backed down from anything in your life. Even when you maybe should have, you go through Night City knowing a stray bullet could end you while hailing a cab. But that's never stopped you from taking action. Going. I keep up with everything that's changing. You have been keeping up. You've made an impact. Not a single thing in this world isn't in the process of becoming something else. Likewise, you never look back. If you gotta kill, kill. If you gotta burn it off. She's a good therapist, Thanks. guys. Uh, for all this. Jeez. Don't even feel like getting up. Few do. But everything has its end. Samurai. Oh, what's going on? Goddamn thing threw me out. Need to talk to you. Talk. You pulled the emergency brake, ripped me out just to talk? What happened? I do something wrong? Evelyn Parker. What do you know about her? Not much. Everyone's got their own booths, their own problems, their own little bubbles. It's a fragile ecosystem. People like you barge in, violate it, try to rearrange. No. You gotta help me. Please. I'm no threat. But she could be in trouble. Just wanted to talk to her, find out if she's okay. In case you haven't noticed, doll work's not the most secure job in the world. One day you're in, the next you're out. And maybe gone. Anything out of the ordinary happen here lately? Fine. Heard a customer did a number on her. But that's all I know. Mm. Shit like that happens around here way more often than anybody care to admit. You ought to ask Tom. Two of them were inseparable, gossiping for hours on end. Who's Tom? A doll, like the rest of us. <laughs> what do you think, an XBD star? Where'll I find him? VIP area, booth two, I think. Thanks. See, you turned out to be useful after all. Okay, that is not what I was expecting to happen, but um, cool. All right, get inside the VIP area. And it's gonna be blocked. Excuse me, <laughs> as I yawn. All right, so that's just a customer. We're good with that. And what if we... Let's breach this so that we can distract for one. All right, let's see. BD, BD. Let's see, BD, BD, 55. And then distract. I don't know, go look. Authorized to access the VIP area. Oh, yes, I am. No, sir, you're not. You can take it up with the manager. No, dog. I'm taking it up with you. Here, now. You got any idea who I am? Is there a problem? This conk don't understand that I've got a right to be in there. From what I can see, 
Your VIP membership has been revoked. Say what now? Please stay calm, sir. Or we're gonna We're gonna have a problem. Um BD E9 Fifty-five. One C. One C. Oh, this one is tricky. All right, we're just gonna go for it because I don't got time. <laughs> well, that ain't going to work. Oh, well, whatever. We got the big one. That's all that matters. I thought that maybe I could uh, <laughs> get to where I needed to go from back here, but I don't think I can. BD, BD, 55, BD. Nice, okay. Well, I guess that worked. I don't know what I just did there. I just magicked my way through that, but you know, it works. Cool. I did something right for once. Got some new hardware. <laughs> what will you have? Oh, Anything. Has a motor fuck me up the what? What? Hard day. More like hard life. Better keep this short and sweet. Two brainwashed sex. Hi. Oh, sorry, Johnny. Um, I think something might have gone wrong here. <laughs> Not really sure. Uh, I don't have your details. Sorry, no idea what I'm supposed to do. Need to get in touch with Evelyn Parker. It's important. You and me both. Tried calling her a bunch of times. No luck. Mean to say she's not here? She had an accident. Needed to go to a special clinic in Osaka. Or Oslo. I think it was Oslo. For a new faceplate. Osaka or Oslo? Which was it? Uh, Oslo. Yeah, definitely Oslo. Tell you herself she was skipping town? Oh, nah, just didn't I'm show up for work. Wasn't picking up either, so... I asked yeah, Woodman what I was up. I told me she left, like I said. Oh God, I don't like this. I don't like this. Where can I find this woodman? Probably got his feet up in the back office. Except it's off limits to customers. Woodman, who is he? Mr. Forrest. But everybody calls him Woodman. Never really known why. Okay, Mr. Forrest then. What's his thing? He's kind of like our caretaker. Finds new talent, deals with ugly situations. Got it. Could it be Woodman finally shed some light on this shit show? <laughs> Man can only dream. Shut up, Johnny. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh, that's what they should be replacing. Dance party.
got some new hardware. <laughs> oh fuck. Motorcycle, not motor. A washing what? machine has what? a motor. What? Uh, what? What? Oh. Oh, I assume the door just shut behind me. Fuck. We're going. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, I have no guns! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> oh, that's Woodman! Oh fuck! Oh no! Woodman! <laughs> oh, is that not Woodman? You don't see me. <laughs> okay, good. I don't think that was Woodman. Although, why does he have a thing over him? Chill. Keep calm. I'm looking for a girl. Cap. Interesting word choice for someone who plowed through, massacred all along the way. Hey, I only knocked out one person. I'll admit, but cooperate, and no one else will get hurt. I don't negotiate with terrorists. Feel my blade! Oh, I just stabbed him in the eyeball. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, I'm dead. Why can't I use my health? Oh fuck. Oh fuck. Oh fuck! Oh, we're toast. We are toast! Alright. We're gonna try that again. And maybe this time I'll quick hack him because I totally forgot I could do that. Just like, stabby stabby. Okay. Sorry, Janie, we are not listening to you again. Can only dream. The skull sponges and these dolls. Ugh. That's what they should be replacing. You really think they remember nothing? Well, that's the whole point. They're not that's not what I want to reach for. Shit. So why, every time, do they restart the conversation where we left off? That's not remembering? Oh, that didn't work. Um. Oh, he's just walking away on his own. Okay, good. Can I shut the door behind me? Yes, okay. Although maybe I should take him out and get his weapons. Nah. I don't know. Hello. Wait, no clients allowed in here. I'm eating my cheeseburger. Fair dear, close the door on the way out, would ya? As you can see, I'm very busy. 
Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. Got nobody working here by that name. But she used to. What happened to her? Probably did what all the dolls try to do. Found a unicorn to set her up for life. Ah, you could do better. Try Roxy over a booth too. Same heart-shaped ass. Behavioral chip will do the rest. Won't feel any difference. Look to me like a reasonable man. I think we can work something out. And you look to me like a psycho bitch who's never been ghosted by her bill or bow before. But go on. I'm listening. You sit here in this dank hole you probably call your office and think you've got it made, don't you? Congrats! You read minds better than her own fucking AI. Someone get this girl a job. Ever stop to think who's behind the Tiger Claw puppets you call your bosses? Tiger Claw bosses have got their own bosses, in case you didn't know. You're just too small to see them. <laughs> oh, because you're such a big shot. I am, actually. Let's just say. <laughs> I'm B. A member of the Arasaka clan wouldn't be pleased if he knew something bad happened to Evelyn, and that you're the one responsible. All right, fine. I'll lay it on your straight. Oh, it sounds like they're farting in their chairs. <sighs> Girl you're looking for, Parker. She ain't here. Well, Tell no me shit. I don't know. Like, where is she? Think you know how things work around here, but you don't know shit. I'm losing my patience, dude. Here to give you pleasure and satisfaction out of the goodness of their soul. They're workers. Their jobs to generate profit. This you talking it out straight? What happened to Evelyn? Got an order from up high to recycle her. You killed her? No. I found a ripper doc who was willing to take a look. Yeah, said he knew something or other. The Ripper. Name and address. Don't know a last name. Don't fuck with me. I'm not. Goes by fingers. Clinic's in some godforsaken alley up on Jig Jig Street. Wanna find Evelyn? Look there. And don't come back here. Ever. While you're at it, take the elevator. The quicker you're out of here, the better. Dark fingers on Jig Jig Street. Sounds like a co-ed's wet dream. Hmm. Nice. I don't like it, you guys. I don't want anything to happen to Evelyn. Oh. Oh, that was fast. Okay, that much went much more smoothly when I remembered to shut the door. A pleasant day to you. Yeah, yeah. You have that urge for clouds? Don't wait. Got a real charm this place. In that slimy subterranean kind of way. That's infidelity. Uh, no. Think Fingers has got her? Think we'll find her there? V, if I could see that far, I wouldn't be a fucking ghost <laughs> on a chip in a corpse's head right now. <laughs> That's so hard to understand. Me, right. No feeling going on, no thinking, no awareness. See, her opinion about dollhouses hasn't changed. Oh, but it has. Before, I wouldn't have touched one with a ten-mile pole. Now I'm thinking a fire'd really make this place shine. Damn.
caution when using data terms. A routine inspection has shown many have been corrupted with malware. Police experts have confirmed the identified virus can lead to cyberware failure and, in extreme cases, even death. <coughs> What the fuck? You had a plan. You tried and fell flat. Now you're flat. Don't look in any condition to find helmet. Okay. Oh god. <laughs> the hell's that? Uh oh. No, 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 damn it. Jesus, the fuck do you want from me? It's all going too slow. Gonna decommission before we learn how to rip the chip out. <laughs> Leave me alone. To sell yourself to the Sakas? They'll end you. What Plain as that. Said so yourself. Made it pretty clear since that I changed my mind. Want you to live now. It's past you already. What the hell you want from me? I got a get out of jail free card. I'd be a fucking fool not to take advantage. See, me and Arasaka, we got a half century old score neat settler, and I plan to do it. That's what I need you for. But why? Fighting for some dated ideal? Pursuing a personal vendetta? You don't need to know. Here to get me from point A to point B. Listen, I know things. Where we can save your life. Who can help us do that? You'll get rid of the chip. I'll smash Sokka. Win-win, kid. Soul Killer's what we need, and Makoshi's how we grab it. Okay, so this Makoshi... What is it, exactly? Okay, basics. If you're jacked in, cruising the net, Arasaka can use Soul Killer, an AI. To trap, fry, and pack away your psyche, your mind, and your soul. He's smoking two cigarettes. Follow one magically, so one real. Yeah, seen the memories. Did a real number on you. Okay, seems we've got a few more things to broach than I thought, but that'll come later. Anyway, when Soul Killer fries, roasts, and boils you, you die. But the contents of your mind get copied to an engram first. Sure. <clears throat> That's how you became a construct. Exactly. Now, Makoshi's the place Soul Killer operates out of, where it stores its victims' engrams. Oh, and now it's magically gone. <laughs> Still don't see how Makoshi's linked to my chip problem. Oh, it's back! This bulb on stage, are <laughs> Fifty years back, ops on the human mind. Makoshi was the sole place on Earth where they did anything like that. Bet it still is today. Telling you, all roads lead there. It's where we'll settle our biz. You yours, me mine. And, uh, how you plan to smash Arasaka this time? Got another nuke tucked away? Oh my gosh, now there's two flying cigarettes. <laughs> I'm supposed oh, to now there's one. Not yet, but you will once we find what we need. I feel like I'm hallucinating. For now, Chips. we got no time to lose. Need to get inside Makoshi. Phone. Uh. Holy shit.
I don't like that. Why do I have so many text messages? <laughs> Alright, where is... Where's Judy? What the heck? Oh fuck, oh fuck. There we go, Judy. Promised I'd call, didn't I? Promising's one thing, keeping it's a whole other bag. So, managed to learn anything? Evelyn's not at Clouds anymore. Behavioral chip was damaged. Apparently they carted her off to a ripper dock goes by fingers. Oh shit. Know where to find this fingers character? Yeah, runs a dinky chop shop off Jig Jig Street. Fuck the guys all kinds of bad news. Heading there now, to find her. I told her to stay the fuck away from clouds. Uh, all right, later, V. Why did she go back there? Evelyn! Hey, Johnny. What's up? So there's more up your alley than clouds. Here, Katie, Katie, hey, what's the rush? What Whoa. He chipped you for free? Fuck off! Yeah? Gear looks a little basic, but it works. So he didn't ask for any money? Nada? Not even a dollar? Oh, that sounded sketchy. <laughs> Their little conversation back there. Hey, punk. And you just the cutest thing. Oh, thank you. You want your release, face punched in? I just might be your man. Kindly get the fuck out of here. That's what I would say. Yo, you hear what this bitch said to me? Best watch your tongue. Oh, yeah? Again, but what for? Your little skull sponge can't possibly get its gray cells around it. Just apologize for that bitch. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I hurt your feelings? All right. Might have overdone it a smidge. Sorry. Too fucking late now. Can't unsay words you've said. Poor little baby's got their little feelings little cold, hurt. Just stuff them back down your throat till you choke. Woo! That's right. You get him. Okay. <sighs> we got our shotgun. We've got our assault rifle. We've got our pistol. Girl. Oh my god, I got my pistol out. <laughs> Cheering me on. Where is that chick? Oh, gracious creature and, and benign, just benedict to the elements of Europe. Through the world with, with, with bloody stains and brood. If, if for a friend, the king of all we owned, our prayer to him shut for thy peace. Arise! Ooh, 
Sounds like paradigm. Blue, huh? Probably a Sefabricol derivative. Preem rot. Veins were popping with it during the third corporate. 24 hours, you feel no pain and barely remember a thing afterwards. Who can blame them then? Fingers. Know where I can find him? If I could, I'd swap, you know? Why does everything have to be so damn convoluted? In the end, all you got left to shredded cables and empty bottles. Oh god, this is not gonna end well for Evelyn, you guys. I don't want to. You will be when every Fine, I get it. Everyone's got their breaking point. Just pay me what you owe me, and you can fuck off the greener pastures. Pimp. Hope that teaches those candy ass scotch suckers not to come around here no more. That shit has a name. Oh, Judy's Hello. here already? Oh, there's a line. Hello, does it look like I give a shit? Sit your ass down and wait your turn. Glad to see a familiar face. I'm worried sick about her, V. Had no idea anything had happened. We'll find her. I know we will. You talked to Fingers yet? Shit, I should've done the bottom one. If only. He's harder to get in to see than the best docks in town. We're gonna be here forever. I just know it. Maybe you could talk to those girls, see if we can cut in front? Why me? I don't think they like me. Just give it a shot. That or come up with something better. Think Evelyn's being kept here somewhere? What the fuck? On the one hand, hope she is, because I want her back fast. But on the other, hope to God no, because who knows what that sick fuck could have done to her. Seen a woman with blue hair around here? Had a doll chip. Uh, think I know who you're talking about. Fingers worked on her, sure. She's still here? No idea. Gotta ask him. My friend here, she's in really sorry shape. Couldn't let us cut in front just this once. Guest. Thank well, you. Now, hold on, hold on a sec. Didn't seem so bad just a minute ago. She's a toughie. Keeps it inside, mostly. Now try to open those Come on, let's go. Hmm. How about now? Uh, wait, something's wrong. Can't see nothing but a blur. The base plate's previous owner. Okay, where do we get a car to get in there? Not here. Oh, is it open now? Okay. Yes, hello. What can I do for you? Oh, you're not sketchy at all. Looking for a girl named Evelyn Parker. I knew she. What the fuck clinic. are you wearing? Clinic. Ah, oh, so that's what this is about. Where is she? Did you see his hand? Oh, a loaded question, if I've ever heard one. You tiger claws. As far as I know, I'm all paid up. We're with the mocks. The mocks. Why didn't you say so? Oh god, I don't like him, I don't like him, I don't like him. What brings you here? <sighs> I already told you. I'm looking for a woman named Evelyn Parker. Need to know where she is. Step into my office, please. Many girls come through here. So many. But let me put it to you this way. I believe in giving each of them the personal touch. Ask anyone. 
I'm more than a chop doc. See, I know what people truly want. To be flattered, praised, patted. To feel like... Like they deserve it. Of course. I can't remember each and every one. Even if it's a specimen as Focus exquisite me. as you. What about your logs? You gotta have some kind of record. Tech like this, you don't register. Don't put any names down for it. Blue hair, doll chip, best brain dance gear ever, though damaged. Was she here? Poor girl. Tried to help her, I did. But as you can see, this isn't exactly a state-of-the-art facility. Mentioned you couldn't help her. Help her with what, exactly? If I only knew, I wager she'd be standing here, happy and smiling. Instruction register on her chip was burnt to a crisp. Tried replacing it. Nothing. What's that mean? What caused the damage? Tech was top-notch. Didn't go kerplunk on its own, that's for sure. Saying she was targeted. A netrunner, as I see it. One with some serious code up their sleeve, too. Get to the point! Point? Ah, yes. Well, I haven't the faintest idea where she is. Enough of this bullshit! What'd you do to her, you freak? Now, either you put a muzzle on this creature, or put her down. It's impossible to have a conversation with her around. You are scum. Pathetic. A waste of words. I'm a hair away from putting you down. Two beefers from a BD studio took her. Didn't even know their names. Want details, damn it. Name the studio. They mentioned a moth, of all things. Virtues with the death's head. Said she'd be good for the moth. You sleazeball! Need it. I'll be outside. Oh, I don't like it here. Don't like it. Oh, but I will take this. Thanks. Ladies? You should find someplace else to be. This is not some place you want to help you. I let her go back to clouds. I could have stopped her, but I didn't. Don't worry. We'll find her. I know it. We'll fucking find what's left of her butchered corpse. Hey! Keep it together! Wanna give up now? No. Only lead we got's an XBD. Where's that get us? We also know we're looking for something related to the Death's Head. Better than nothing. I don't get your optimism. Still sounds like a big fat nothing to me. Need to figure out where they're scrolling this stuff. Gotta be a rat hole of some sort. Doubt they do much shooting on location. Yeah, gotta be somewhere quiet, out of the way. I'm a little busy. Something to point us in their hey, direction hey. in one of their virtues. Uh, Loud and have to clear. Be real Don't need to so yell. What's up? I did nothing. I did nothing. Prizes and all. You know, over here with the range. Uh huh. That that it makes sense. Well, you in? What's up with you? Sure, I'm in. When? Well, uh, right now. We'll wait on you. See ya. Everyone, everything. That was really There's annoying. Something behind. Just need to know where to look. Lucky for me, I'm running around with the best BD specialist in town. That's an extra pair of expert eyes. Well, your BD expert has a better idea. Pleasures of Night City, a domain with its twin on the dark net. Every kind of thing goes on there. Might stumble on something useful.
Let me think for a sec. V, get it together. All right, Jesus. I've got a better idea. Saw a virtue pusher on Jig Jig Street. Had a wide selection. Huh. Took your sweet time getting to fingers. Drop it, will ya? All right, the pusher, what about him? Could have what we're looking for. Meantime, see if I can't find something on the NCP domain. I'll wait in the van. Damn. I do have to say the phone in this game. I got four bags missing here. That's the cut I got off Pablo. Don't like it? Take it up with him. Okay. Um, the phone gets really annoying. It's a cool system, but it's too incessant. Now I could paint the sidewalk with your guts, but that wouldn't get me one at all. Oh, you wanna try? Go on, son. Where am I going? Pop that sheet? Uh oh. Nope, going the wrong way. <laughs> it said Jig Jig Street, but then it wanted me to go in the elevator. What the fuck? Oh, there he is. Oh, maybe he's down here. Oh, maybe it wanted me to go to parking. See a woman here with blue hair? Young. Total knockout. You know, you're the first person I've seen in months who actually fits that description. If I'd seen a young knockout chick, I'd remember her. Gonna remember you, though. <laughs> Looking for BDs. A particular kind. Particular? Damn. You a badge? If I was a badge, you'd already be in cuffs for what you sold the customer before me. All right, all right. Can't be too careful. What do you want? Give me the best of the best. Ones with the death's head. <sighs> Didn't know I was dealing with a connoisseur. Death's head will cost you, though. How about a discount for your newest customer? Only the one you'll always remember. Discounts. If you're short, then fuck off. Got anything that might interest me? A thousand dollars? Oy vey. Pleasure doing biz with you. Mm. Oh, shooty, we can do better than this. Hop in. Hey, V. Let me get everything prepped. You make sure the wreath's snug on you. You'll watch while I edit in real time. Oh, You'll God. Ready when you are. Okay, if you have seizures, don't look. I want you to describe what you see. You might catch something. I guess. Oh, just kidding. I think you're good now. Watch this. I just want to watch it all the way through and then I'll go back and analyze. Oh, 
Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay. Um, how do I rewind? Left trigger. Pause. Scout woman. Who knew that sides chopping people up, they were scrolling XPDs. Can't beat that rich synth cough aroma. Cheap shit. Cold too. Mm-hmm. Buck a slice. Ordinary box. Decker, Tanaka, and Rogers logo. Standard for a trash heap. Okay. I kind of want to see the books in the box, but, you know, that works too. Electric cork patch on the coveralls. Scab. Gotta be. Who knows what that kind of fashion sense. Poor fucker. That's all we got for them? Ordered recently. Okay. Switch layer. Coffee was cold. Like, from the day before. Pizza looked fresh, though. So? Means someone's grabbing bucket slice regularly, which is not something one does for the flavor and fresh ingredients. <laughs> Pizza shares its DNA with styrofoam. Nobody's gonna schlep across town for it. Okay. We're looking for an electric core power plant located near a bucket slice. EC used to have a big old complex in Charter Hill. Bucket slice checks out too. How can you be sure though? Here we go. Old electric core power plant in Charter Hill. Gotta make do with that for now. And then I'll start from the school. I don't want that to happen, Evelyn. Mm. No time to lose. We gotta go there. No, my friends. Definitely. Ride with me? Oh yeah, I'll ride with you. Let's get going. On our way. Underwater where thoughts can breathe again. Breathe easy. Okay, shake it. That virtue sample we saw with the death said moth. If all they scroll is snuff, then stop it. They'd have to be utter gongs to waste her on something like that. What do you mean? We're talking about a girl who's not only a natural at what she does, but also has got a doll's implant. I mean, that's not a package you find lying out in the street. All right, sorry, Judy. As much as I enjoy this ride, I don't have time, so I gotta skip it. It'd be cool if they had you like fall asleep or something and that's like the justification for why you missed the whole ride. Going in? Find us a way inside. I'll hang back, scan the subnet, see if there's any blueprints of the complex lying around. Join you as soon as I find something. Let's link on Hollow till then. All right, going in. Night City Centipede. Blech. Creepy. Oh, fuck. Get 
Who sees me? Who sees me? Who sees me? You're in such a hurry, you do it. Something Are you not afraid to die? What the fuck? How do they see me? Are you kidding me with that bullshit? You still alive? I'm here. Got no time to creep around. Let's open the gate. Oh, it is open. Wait. <laughs> Wait! Turn that off. Interesting. So they knew that we were on our way. Which means that Finger's asshole is. knows more than he was letting on. Camera sees me now. Huh. I don't know. Anything good in here? Cards, cards everywhere. Don't mind if I do. Find a way to the sub levels. like a blood trail. Ooh, fluorescent lipstick. I cannot see shit. Okay, this is not working for me. Hmm. 
I do not know. Got a floating pack of cigarettes. Oh, wow, right here, stairs. Find a way down. A magical device. <laughs> yep, be there in a sec. Wait for me. I'm here. We need to get to level minus two. Bet that's where they're keeping her. Why do you think that? Hear that? That shirt. I know it. Keep donors sedated. If the product fights and seg menial. I have no idea what that's saying. <laughs> I cannot read it. <sighs> Looks like snuffs are only the tip of the iceberg. Get high at home. Perfect. <laughs> Smells like propyl methionine. Must be cooking RPM here. RPM. Used to sprinkle it on my breakfast. Okay, good to know. This RTL, it won't make anyone foam at the mouth, will it? Because if it does, we'll be out of this. Do you have any clue what we're baking here? Propyl methionine makes you trip so hard, even an animal would shit himself. Do you really think a little synth sugar is going to hurt? I don't understand why they take it. Shh, quiet. <gasps> no survivors, not when you've taken Evelyn. Yeah, assholes. Interesting. Okay. I guess we're going. Um, maybe we're not. <laughs> Need to get into the hallway past this room. Okay. What about them? I can always just get rid of them my way. Your call, but you gotta make it now. How do you know? I've seen his butt. I know. He's the boss, isn't he? Yes, yes. So he should live like one. Take him out quick. The boss. What the? Why is there like no reaction time? It's just like auto spot. Also, didn't I deactivate those? Okay, Judy. I just need to loot all the stuff first. Everything. This is the fucking end. All right. Easy enough. All right, so let's see. 55, 55, 55. Um, 
Then we want E9, 1C. Um, but fuck. <laughs> I thought I had more slots left. I still don't understand why they have drinks in a bag. I know some places you get milk in a bag. Makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> Liquid should not be in bags. Oh, so this must have been a different surveillance network that I was on. Judy, we're a great team. Clear, keep going. Do something, be fucking dying over here. What are you talking about? No, you're not. Uh oh. Covers. Classic. Can't go wrong. Except these are solid steel, not the soft core plastic kind. Even if you come here on your own, gunning to become a star, there's no guarantee you're ever getting out. Yikes. <sighs> I'm scared, guys. <laughs> I don't want to see what they did to her. I think that's a maintenance room. See what I can stir up. So do I keep going or do I wait for you, Judy? Oh fuck, don't turn around! Woo! Why did it make a squishy noise? Oh god! Oh no. That new girl Dr. Fingers gives us Dr. Fingers gives us going to be useful for anything. Fucking knew it. That chick is a bad omen, that's all I'll say. We should get rid of her ASAP and forget scrolling any BDs with her because if word about her spreads we're fucked. What woman are you talking about? Next thing, I'll find you staring into crystal balls. What are you, my reincarnated babushka? I don't believe you're shitting your pants just because of some comatose girl. What are you on, hmm? You know what? Don't answer that. Whatever it is, just stop taking it before your brain damage gets even worse. Because, like, you can tell she's not from Jig Jig. More like clouds or even the mocks. And for the record, I don't touch our supply, and you know that. But there's this corpo. I sold him some of our shit. Apparently it made him aggressive, smacked some joy toy across the face. He told me when it happened, he noticed the shadow of Lizzie on the wall, the girl who started the mocks. And guess what happened? A week later, he was dead. They found him in some back alley tied to a gutter, suffocated with a stocking. It's not like I was chums with the guy, but still, that's no way to go. Who cares how you go if you're dead? Decapitated with a nail filer or shot in the spleen, it makes not one iota of difference. If it's not the RPM, then it's the BDs that are fucking with your head because your imagination is starting to get more whack than what we're scrolling. So you don't care how you're remembered? What if you die in the toilet, huh? 
You're fucking gonk. Get back to work. Don't you understand? Nobody care about you. Whose fucking memory will you be in? You would barely fill up any space on my deck. You and your fucking omens. I don't like where this is headed, you guys. I don't like it. I don't like it. I don't like it. Freaking grenade. Oh, there it goes. Tank top. Next. Just going in circles now, it's fine. Oh god. Maybe she's here already. Used him as a puppet in a virtue that killed him. Then tore out his implants. Way game. Got it out all her implants. And why stop there? Took a few internal organs while they were at it. How so very resourceful. Scabs. No matter how many you stamp out, there'll always be more crawling around somewhere. Figure you've made their acquaintance. Afraid so. Okay, how do I get through if I can't get through that door? <sighs> All right, let's see. There's got to be another way. Where are you? Close to the studio, I think. You find anything useful? Read up the elevator. Should be easier to get out of here. Oh, fuck. You really don't <sighs> fuck around, do you? Wait one sec for me. Okay. Hurry up, Judy. See them up ahead. 
Let's find her. Hang in there, Ev. Oh god. Then you'll scramble her brain. Wait until I cut her link. Wait, I want to uncrouch. I hate that. I hate that crouch and uncrouch and skip ahead are the same button. That's so dumb. Oh god. Oh god. I'll break the link at my end at the same time. All right. Oh no. Let's do this. Wait for my signal. Here goes. Ready? And now, thank oh, God, Ev Evelyn, you hear me? She okay to be moved? No brain hemorrhages, damage to the spine. Doesn't seem to have any wounds. Guess we got no choice. Let's get her somewhere safe. Fast, too. Which way? I sealed the doors and managed to power the elevators. Elevators it is, then. Mm. She's gonna be so messed up, you guys. That was weird. Come on, is it really that hard? Please, just one. For me. Smoking's for posers, and it stinks too. Say whatever the fuck you want, but just light up. No. Non smokers are the fucking worst. <laughs> Just my luck. <gasps> we going in? What's there to wait for? Didn't go through hell and back just to stand in front of a door. Ah, shit! Yikes. All right, I have to stop there. Um, that video was incredibly long, um, but I'm really glad that we have Evelyn back. Although I'm super, super nervous about the psychological repercussions for what she went through. Judy said physically she was fine, but clearly she went through a lot. Um, and you don't just bounce back from that. So I'm a little worried to see what shape she's in when we do go in and talk to her. Um, but I am glad that we at least have her back because I really love Judy and I really love Evelyn. Um, and I hope that we interact with them more throughout the game. Uh, so next video, I'll pick right up with the storyline just because we are right outside the apartment or wherever we are. Um, so it makes sense to just continue with this storyline uh, and see where it goes. And hopefully it goes to someplace positive and not negative, but I'm very excited to keep playing and find out. I hope that you enjoyed the video. If you did, please make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell button when you do so that you know when I post the next one. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it and hope you have an amazing day.